Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Empath Oasis. I hope you all are doing well. For today's video, we're gonna be doing it on the topic of have they moved on? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how they are currently feeling towards you guys, what is currently going on in their life, if this is a romantic connection, their love life. We'll also be looking at their next actions, but let's get into your options now. Group one, you guys are gonna be the crab. Group two, you guys will be a zebra. And group three, you guys will be the seahorse. So go ahead and take a deep breath and pick whichever object or objects if you're checking on multiple people you feel most drawn to if you need more time you can always pause the video timestamps will be available in the caption if you chose the crab group one welcome to your reading first i do want to take a look at this person's current energy towards you for most of you this will be a no contact situation some of you may have you know very little communication with this person but uh, I do want to take a look at their current energy towards you I'm gonna actually pull the signs first for this group or show you the signs first so I have cancer these can be yours or this person's Sun moon rising Venus or Mars I also pulled Jupiter which is Sagittarius the 12th house, which is Pisces, Mars, which is Scorpio or Aries, and Capricorn. Okay, so let's take a look at this person's current energy towards you guys. I pulled the lovers, five of wands, and 10 of pentacles. So have these people moved on? Based on these cards that we're seeing so far, Quick answer, no, they have not moved on. The lover's card, you know, is definitely a sign that there is still deep love here for you guys. For a lot of you, this person feels like you guys complete them. They do feel this connection on a soul level. And this is very much an indicator that they feel like you guys are some type of a soulmate and they do not want to give up on this connection they want to stay connected to you with a five of wands this is letting us know that there could have been some significant conflict here in this connection this card can represent either conflict or this person feeling conflicted about you or the situation between the two of you is very complex When it comes to how these people are feeling towards you guys, this card represents that they feel like you challenge them. And even though you do challenge them, this card does indicate that they are wanting to rise to the occasion. They do want to take on these challenges. They don't want to walk away. Some of these people may even feel like they might have to compete for you now. But again, this is an indication here that this person does not view this relationship as being over. They don't want it to be over they have not moved on they don't have any plans thus far to move on even if you guys are not really talking and the ten of pentacles this card is about fulfillment it's about success this is how they feel towards you this card also represents this person knowing that this relationship is going to require a significant amount of hard work to get things in a more balanced and harmonious energy between the two of you but they want to do that they do feel like it'll be worth the work this card is about them wanting to create a strong foundation or they want to rebuild this connection so that you guys can have a strong foundation together okay so they are not over you so what is going on in their life currently we have the seven of pentacles nine of wands ten of cups reversed two of wands and five of swords reversed 
The Seven of Pentacles, this card is about being in a period of reflection. It's about being very patient. It's about being in a period of assessment, trying to figure out like what is needed right now in this situation to bring more balance or more harmony to this connection. This person, you know, in separation from you, it looks like they have been focusing on their growth. They have been focusing on their progress. This card is about perseverance. It's about doing the work to get results. So this is what they've been doing. They've been doing the work, whether that is inner work to help bring stability to your relationship, or they are working on their own personal growth, their personal development, their finances. I feel like these people, you know, if they have not been in contact with you, the nine of wands energy is about preparation. So these people, again, we're getting this confirmation that they are putting in work right now to prepare to come back into your life or at least to attempt to try and come back into your life. Some of these people feel like they have a very important decision to make when it comes to this connection and they are preparing themselves to make that decision. The Ten of Cups is basically showing us that this person's hopes and dreams when it came to this relationship have gone unfulfilled. This is what they feel presently. And they don't want it to stay in this energy. They don't want things to continue to feel so emotionally imbalanced. Now the two of wands, when it comes to how what's been going on in their life, this card is about future planning. This card is about decision making. It's about contemplating the future or even planning honest communication for some of you. This person's objective the work they are doing while you guys are in separation, they are doing this to create some form of mutual understanding in this relationship. Now, the Five of Swords reversed. This card, again, is about this person pretty much preparing to come towards you for a peaceful resolution. This card is about restoring a friendship, restoring the harmony in your connection, and, you know, some of these people know they can't, if this was a romantic situation, they know they can't just come back and expect you to be open to them on a romantic level. They plan on taking actions that are going to help bring down your walls or your defenses towards them. And they want to establish at the very least a friendship with you before trying to take things to that next level. But they are in the process right now of planning this. If you guys have been wondering, um, while you guys are in separation, if this person has been seeing other people, these cards are showing me that this person really only has eyes for you. They are really focused on you. You are their fulfillment. You are their soulmate. And they are not interested in bringing someone else into your dynamic and making things even more complicated. So you can put some of those worries to rest if you were concerned about that. I am not seeing any indication here in these cards that this person is not investing their energy in any other relationships romantically i'm gonna pull some other cards though to see get some more details on what their life is like what's going on with them while you guys are in separation or a little contact so i pulled moving on thank you next so if at one point there were other people involved in this relationship on some level, whether it be in a platonic or a romantic sense, I do feel like this person is severing ties with those people. I do feel like, you know, even though there is no energy here of this person currently entertaining other people or exchanging emotional energy with other people, with the five of wands we had pulled earlier, about their energy towards you. There could have been like that inner conflict that they have towards this relationship because of situations that involved multiple people here. So with this moving on, thank you next, they are severing ties. Some of you, this decision that they are making to choose you, to choose this relationship. There may have been a situation where they were possibly, you know, dating multiple people, but they are now in this space of feeling like, again, they only have eyes for you. They only want to invest in their relationship with you on a romantic level. If there were no extra people involved in your situation, what this person is moving away from is 
whatever they were bound to in the past that was creating problems in this connection. So it could be a lifestyle, it could be certain habits, it could be certain platonic connections as well. Dust it off. Okay, so this card actually gives us additional clarification with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, I had said earlier, can be a card about preparation. And for some of these people, a part of their preparation is picking themselves back up, dusting themselves off after going through an experience where they feel butthurt or offended, possibly by something you said to them or um, something that is in relation to the conflict that you had so these people are working on letting go of i feel like the petty stuff that happened between the two of you i feel like this person wants to focus more on the bigger picture here the root of the problem i pulled in their head overthinking stressed and over analyzing so these people are really in their head about you right now. There's a lot of mental energy on how to move forward in this connection. I also pulled Inside Scoop. So this card is a closer look, nosy and up in your business. So some of these people with a closer look, they're taking a closer look at the situation that happened between the two of you. See if they can gain some more insight or new perspectives around what happened here or what is the root to the imbalances between the two of you how you guys can resolve this situation nosy and up in your business some of these people are watching you guys from afar even though you are not in contact they are definitely keeping tabs on you i also pulled always parting so okay so some of you what this person may have had to make a decision about when it came to this relationship may not have been another person it could have been between you and a lifestyle a lifestyle where they were always partying where they were always overindulging where they were not thinking about the future like i said i do feel like a lot of these people have moved on from this energy or because this is a collective reading some of these people are in the process of moving away from this lifestyle so they still may be engaging in these activities the three of cups though this can also we pulled that earlier for what's going on in their lives the three of cups reverse can also i had said that this is a reflection of how unhappy they are in this relationship and some of these people how they are coping with how unhappy they are in this situation is they may be parting but we are seeing with this card being in reverse that this parting only provides them with temporary relief. They actually end up feeling a lot worse the next day. The numbing is very temporary. Some of these people may actually get intoxicated and they become very emotional or overly emotional. They become an emotional mess or a wreck and it may leave them in this space of like regret or wanting to look at the root to why this relationship is impacting them. The way that it is if they were someone who was avoidant in the past i am getting multiple timelines for this connection so there is energy coming out in here where these people are moving away from that lifestyle some of these people have already moved away from that lifestyle let's see what else is going on okay i pulled once you back yeah so they definitely have not moved on oops <laughs> I'm going to pull a few messages now around how they are currently feeling towards you guys so we can get more details. I keep replaying everything that happened between us in my mind. It hurts too much. I still love you. I dream of being with you. I imagine waking up next to you and cuddling with you every day. I'll pull some non like romantic messages in a minute. You challenge me in ways that make me grow. Even though it's difficult, I know it's right. We did get a message similar to this earlier that this person wants to put the work in because they feel like it will be worth it. So let's get some more messages. How are they currently feeling towards this group? I pulled pregnancy fake news DNA. I feel like this person is feeling like they need to do something dramatic to get your attention. They are feeling tempted to do something extreme. A lot of these people are, you know, fake busy right now to avoid dealing with the pain around this connection. 
we pulled cope. So again, we have this uh, confirmation around this person possibly turning to substances uh, to cope with the pain they're feeling here. Okay, let me see if I can get some other cards around how they're feeling towards you. Okay, so I pulled lightning. And I do feel like it has the same energy as that fake news pregnancy test. The definitions on this card are sudden change. I also pulled shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So I feel like right now how these people are feeling towards you is they have had a shift in perspectives. They have come to a realization around this connection that is changing the way they view you and it's changing the way they approach this relationship. This person is definitely in this energy of wanting to ascend. I'm getting kind of repeated messages, so I'm going to pull one more and then we'll move on to um, what their next moves are going to be. But this card says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. So we get confirmation of this person in this energy of preparation. And then I pulled not enough. The definition of this card is frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. So some of these people are having an epiphany around issues that they had with you when it came to jealousy. Some of these people are realizing how they have sabotaged this connection with you. A lot of these people are recognizing areas where they may have allowed their ego to get the best of them as well. They're currently feeling very frustrated by what's happening here and a lack of confidence. Some of these people aren't gonna be taking action until they feel more confident to approach you. So let's now take a look at what their next actions will be. We have eight of wands reversed, the hanged man, the full reverse. So this person is not going to be taking action soon. Okay, guys, this person is still battling a significant amount of resistance energetically within themselves. Um, like I had said earlier, some of these people are not confident with approaching you. Some of these people are feeling very overwhelmed by what's going on in their life, which is contributing to them not feeling confident with approaching you. The hanged man is about things being in limbo, no action being taken, being in a state of reflection, um, trying to tap into that inner wisdom. The full reverse is being hesitant. The full reverse and the eight of wands reverse is about having hesitant energy. Let's see the next actions. Okay, good. We have page of wands. So they will eventually reach out. Okay. Uh, but there will be this brief period of them trying to manage their anxieties, their insecurities, their fears, uh, you know, become more confident before they actually reach out to you. If you would like to know like a time frame um, or how soon you will be hearing from them, I actually, I, I believe the video before this is who's about to reach out to you. So I would recommend you guys checking out that video after this. If you want more details around when this person will reach out to you. All right, group one, I do hope that this reading resonates with you guys and you found it helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm now going to move on to group two. Bye. If you chose the zebra group two, welcome to your reading for have they moved on. We're going to first take a look at the zodiac signs coming through with this group for you or this person's sun and moon rising venus or mars for initial confirmation let's first take a look at the zodiac signs for this group i pulled taurus virgo first house which is aries scorpio Mercury, which is Virgo again, or Gemini, and then the moon, which is Cancer. All right, let's see. Have these people moved on from you? Page of Swords. 
page of wands so these people definitely have something they want to express to you we see that off the bat pulling the two pages nine of cups reversed queen of pentacles reversed the sun awakening different pages addiction play hard taking chances and release so there are a lot of different scenarios coming through with this group just take what resonates with you but i i don't feel like this person has moved on whether this was a platonic or romantic situation but with these cards i do feel like this person is tr is trying to move on though they are trying to release this connection and there are a lot of different reasons coming through here and if they're not trying to release this connection they are trying to release something that is causing the separation between the two of you that is at the root to the imbalance in this connection i am seeing that energy of being attracted to you, being interested in you, enjoying your company. I see them connecting with you on an intellectual level. I see them loving your humor, your wit. I see them loving your intelligence. But for whatever reason, this person does not feel like they can give to this relationship the way that you deserve them to be giving to this relationship. Some of these people could have issues with their stability. For some of these people, the stability is like their physical stability and for others, it's their emotional instability. These Some of you may be dealing with people who um, their lack of healing may have even driven them into very toxic and, and unhealthy lifestyles where they are overindulging or this person could be in that lifestyle as well but they use these unhealthy coping mechanisms as a way to avoid their emotions. Some of you I see are dealing with people who try to intellectualize their emotions. They may struggle with connecting with other people's perspectives or pain or like it's hard for them to I'm hearing ignorance. So I feel like there's a level of ignorance that this person has when it comes to something within this connection some of you i am feeling like there is no contact or little to no communication with this person because of something very ignorant that they may have said or done in this connection you know that can just be one of many things that contributed to you pulling your energy back from this person this person may feel like right now they need to release this connection because they need to put their focus more on self they feel like this is what they need to do to elevate to experience success in their life to bring more balance into their life to bring more wealth into their life some of these people feel like they need to release you because they could already be in a connection where they're not able to get out of at this moment for whatever reason. Some of you, there is a financial obligation that is keeping them bound to this person. And then I'm also seeing here too that some of these people may not know what they want quite yet. They may be in this energy of wanting to explore. They may want freedom to have a better understanding of themselves they may not desire something serious you know with the page of wands this is an energy of someone who is very attracted to you but this attention that they give you when it comes to their interest in you physically it feels like short-lived it feels like this person has a short attention span they may be the type of person who wants to date around a bit in regards to what this person currently wants from this connection with 0303 this card is called taking chances i'm just going to use the keywords to give you guys more insight around what it is that they want from you or this connection this card is about success knowledge friendship impatience freedom and optimism so I am hearing with this card, some of these people do want a friendship with you because they do genuinely enjoy and love your energy. Or there may have been a shift 
and the dynamic here due to ignorance this person wants to gain knowledge around where they are ignorant so that they can bring success to this relationship again also i'm hearing a lot of these people want freedom right now so that they can set themselves up in a position to have success with you later on if they feel like they are struggling with freeing themselves from addictions or obligations or restricting situations with release 999 this person wants to bring balance to this connection they want to focus on their finance and wealth some of these people i'm also hearing they may not be ready to release certain addictive or toxic cycles that they've been in for a while some of these people are going through an awakening i had said this earlier in the other reading but some of you guys are dealing with situations that are like on a spectrum so you do have people who are still heavily involved in a toxic lifestyle a lifestyle that's very emotionally empty but i feel like this connection is waking them up to how unfulfilling it is to continue in this energy some of these people are still enjoying that energy but if but it feels like it's heading towards that energy of awakening eventually they just may not be there quite yet i'm also hearing some of these people feel like they need to release their relationship with you because being around you is a reminder of how unhappy or how unsatisfying or how unfulfilling either their life is or their connection that they're currently attached to is. This person may not be in the energy yet where they're ready to make changes and being around you and having your energy reflect back to them the areas in their lives in which they feel unfulfilled or unhappy with they feel like being around you at this time could be too triggering. So maybe they feel like they need to release this connection temporarily to regain some form of balance emotionally. Hopefully one of those scenarios resonates with you. I know I said a lot there. There's a lot coming through. But overall energy with this group is this person has not moved on. Let's see what is actually happening with them during this time two of cups reverse so some of these people are definitely in this energy of avoiding deep romantic connections at this time they are avoiding love i pulled judgment reversed some of these people are avoiding love because of their past experiences they have not fully healed from i'm also seeing a lot of these people may be spending a significant amount of time in this judgment energy rehashing the past looking at things that took place between you two and a lot of regret looks like it's surfacing for this person the world reverse ten of cups reverse the hierophant six of swords so some of these people are continuing to stay in these toxic cycles or an unhappy relationship they're still in that energy or i am seeing this person is actually trying to educate themselves on something you brought up to them about their character or maybe they're getting education going back to school some of these people got a new job or i'm hearing they could be going to counseling the hierophant can also represent that some of these people are working on establishing more stability in their life the hierophant is about abiding to systems and guidelines so some of these people can also currently be in rehab or going to AA or NA. I'm also seeing here as well, some of these people are dealing with some family problems right now that are really overwhelming them, or they're dealing with problems within their community or their friend group that's really um, causing them to struggle. I'm also seeing these people are really struggling over disappointments around this relationship. Let's see what else though with these clarifiers. So I pulled moving on. So like I had said earlier, some of these people are doing things in an attempt to move forward from this relationship. But they have not moved on all the way. This is fake smiles. If you are seeing this person, like if, if maybe you're checking on them online or you just uh, run into them and they just don't really seem affected or they seem really happy, they are wearing a mask. A lot of these people are in the process of trying to ignore how they feel 
in this situation. I'm also seeing scenarios here with karmic friends where these people may be struggling and getting out of toxic cycles maybe due to who they surround themselves with a lot of these people may lack an awareness around how their group of friends or their community is actually a cage that is limiting them in regards to how much happiness or fulfillment that they can experience i feel like you know we had pulled that card earlier around awakening some of these people are about to be going through a process of awakening around their friend group, or they could be going through that right now. This card reads, can't fully trust them, tension, secret competition, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So yeah, they may be feeling like they are surrounded by people they can't really trust at the moment. And this also could be the reasons why they don't wanna lose your friendship. Some of these people I'm hearing they really felt like you were probably one of the most real and authentic people in their lives. They may be surrounded by a lot of very toxic, problematic, or even like fake people. And I feel like you guys, you know, we saw with the sun earlier, you guys bring sunshine into their life. You bring warmth or fulfillment, happiness. You bring realness. You bring real love. Some of you even ecstasy into this person's life. I feel like you guys help this person activate their inner child. You help them activate their passions, their passion for life. But some of these people are very much bound to these karmic connections, whether it be a karmic relationship that they're in, that they're having a hard time pulling away from, or karmic friends that are influencing this person to stay in low vibrational energy some of you i'm also seeing they could be moving right now changing locations um i am hearing some of you if it's not happening right now some of these people are going to be leaving their significant other that they're unhappy with and they may be in the process of this happening because i did pull the six of swords as well and this is about moving from turbulent energy to more peaceful energy um and then we have moving as well so there is something here around relocating now some of these people like i said they're going to school they're going to counseling they're putting the work into their healing because i pulled queen rising and boss daddy i wanted to talk about these together you can align these messages with your person how you see fit but queen rising is about this person putting in the work to step into their power, putting in the work so they can have more stability in their life. Um, Boss Daddy is about being more stable, having more wealth, possibly starting a business, being a CEO. I also pulled Obsessive Lover. So some of these people are dealing with situations where they haven't been able to move away from their partner because this person is very obsessive, they're very possessive, they're very controlling, they're very toxic. And like I said, they keep them bound to this very low vibrational energy. Some of these people are keeping them bound to them by threatening them or using intimidation tactics to keep them in the relationship, to keep them miserable. I also pulled fake flexing and groupie. So some of these people, you know, I had said they could be in like the party lifestyle. If these people have some form of clout or popularity or power or pull, I feel like they're definitely like leaning into that um, as a way of avoidance. I had pulled earlier, earlier that two of cups card in reverse. And this is just kind of confirming this, this energy that this person is engaging in connections that are very superficial that are very quick to begin and fizzle out they may be really focused on like people that are giving them an ego boost they could be more focused on connections that satisfy their ego versus connections that are good for their soul and I also pulled a romantic love affair. So I do feel like some of these people are attempting to try and move forward. And they definitely could be dating other people. 
you know, I do want you guys to try and use your discernment because I know there are so many types of relationships, relationships coming through. If you are not dealing with someone who you know has this like player type of energy that is not trying to be in the streets, that genuinely wants something real and solid with you, do not take that energy of this person who is entertaining groupies, okay? What all these situations have in common, regardless of the details to your situation, is this person feeling like they need to move on. And they are making attempts to do that, but they are not able to successfully do it. Or they're trying to hold on to this connection, but move on from the problems that you guys have or that you guys are currently going through. And they feel like a part of this process of moving past these, cha these challenges is them taking a look at themselves and how they are contributing to this, pulling away from this connection, temporarily moving on from this connection and addressing what is going on within them. If this person is trying to move on from the problems and not release this relationship, you would already be aware of this energy. This would not be a surprise to you. If this person is not, if this person has not been talking to you, then they are trying to move on, but it looks like these attempts are unsuccessful. So let's now take a look at how they're currently feeling. I pulled spiritual. This card is chaos, ego death, downward spiral, spiritual awakening, secluded. So some of these people feel really isolated right now, especially if they're sp spending this time focusing on their healing and soul searching. This is what this card is about. Soul searching, reflecting, love spell. So some of these people are feeling like they are you know, even in their attempts to try and release this connection, they still feel very much drawn to you, pulled to you. They feel under your spell. Divine masculine. So we had talked about that awakening energy here with a lot of you. Some of you are in the process through this separation, through this no contact. You are awakening your divine masculine. A lot of these people are spending a significant amount of energy and time regretting their behavior with you this is massive regret i also pulled ashamed some of you i am hearing uh you know you broke up with them and they may be entertaining other options to try and move on from you you know um, they feel like they have to release this connection because you chose to walk away from them and they don't have any option separation this card is sadness missing you thinking about you yearning and unsure about the future coffin this card reads endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation and transition so this person is feeling like or a lot of these people feel like this relationship is over or they want a new beginning here an opportunity for growth and change when it comes to your dynamics some of these people may feel like they need to liberate themselves from something in order to have a new beginning with you or they need to liberate themselves from this connection so that they can transition into a more stable and mature version of themselves. Or they feel like they need to end their relationship with you because they may feel like they're a snake if they don't. I feel like these people don't wanna hurt you or hurt you any more than they already have. I feel like they don't wanna be malicious towards you. Um, and they feel like if they continue to engage with you when they're not in a position to give you what you deserve, then they're being a snake. I also pulled, I've never met someone like you. You're special. Please have patience with me because I'm learning. I don't know if I can live up to your image of me. I'm afraid I won't be good enough for you. And I love spending time with you, enjoying each other and the simple and cozy pleasures of life. So these people definitely love spending time with this group. You can check out the video I posted before this. I believe yeah um it's who's about to reach out and you can check out and see when this person will be taking these actions that i'm about to pull so what's their next actions towards this group the hermit reversed ace of wands the emperor reversed the tower and eight of swords 
Okay. The Hermit Reversed. Card is about wanting to come out of this energy of being isolated and secluded. It's like you're coming out of that energy of from soul searching to now wanting to reacclimate to your community, to life, or reconnect to those you may have pulled away from. Ace of Wands is about a new beginning. It's about new energy coming in. So I do feel like some of these people are actually going to be uh reaching out to you i feel like initially though for some of you it's just going to be um actually i want to i want to clarify the ace of wands okay so yeah they want to they're going to be reaching out to you for some kind of either closure or to express to you their plans, let you know about things they've accomplished, um, or they're reaching out to you to alleviate some form of mental torment that they've been in, um, find closure around that, communication around that. Some of these people though are gonna be reaching out to you and their intentions aren't really gonna be aligned in integrity. I feel like, as we had said earlier, there are people here who are going through an awakening process. And sometimes that's not just like a straightforward process. You could go back and forth in between toxic lifestyles and more healthier lifestyles. You know, not everyone's able to just go cold turkey um, from things that they use in the past to cope. So I do feel like some of you, this person will be reaching out to you, but it feels like an emotional outburst or them doing something really dramatic or drastic in order to gain control of the situation or to feel like they have control in this situation. Or it's gonna be for sexual reasons. I feel like this person may try to like keep their intentions hidden. So you guys need to be mindful of that. Like if this person has not shown you they've experienced any significant growth or healing, I would just use discernment with when you, with when you are engaging with them. But it does feel like if you guys are in little to no contact with this person, there will be some attempt of initiating communication or initiating a new beginning eventually once they come out of this like soul searching energy once they feel like they've found the answers that they have been seeking or once they have more clarity around your situation so yeah overall these people have not moved on they're trying to move on, but it feels like it's not going to be successful. All right, group two, that is all I'm seeing for you guys. I do hope that this reading resonated with you and it was helpful. If it was, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also leave a comment if you feel inspired to do so. I love reading your comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm now going to move on to group three. Bye. If you chose the seahorse, group three welcome to your reading so have they moved on i want to first take a look at the signs coming through for you guys this will be this person's sun and moon rising venus or mars or these will be your signs so just take it how it resonates gemini aquarius scorpio venus which is libra or taurus the 10th house which is Capricorn and Leo. So that should just give you guys some additional confirmation, but don't click off quite yet. Let's take a look at whether or not this person has moved on. I will provide you with some identifying characteristics to give you more confirmation. You picked an accurate pile. Sorry, I didn't even show you that. King of Cups reversed. Two of Wands. Queen of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords, the Ember reversed, clarified by Dirty Offer, running, fake smiles, haunted, and moves in silence. So I, I do feel like with this group, there is definitely very heavy runner energy. Either you guys are running from this connection or this person is running from this connection. I do feel like in all of these scenarios that are coming through though, the past has a pretty strong hold on this person currently. I feel like at one point, you guys did see a lot of potential here with this relationship. You felt like there was a future or you felt like this connection could definitely go the distance. But I feel like there were scenarios where 
one or a few things either happened. You guys may have found yourself in a situation with this person where they were being deceptive about something. They may have moved in a way that really lacked integrity. And I feel like a lot of you really had a issue with this person's fakeness, their lack of authenticity. Some of you, you may not have allowed this relationship to develop too far because this may have reminded you of Something from your past that was very toxic and it was a cycle you did not feel like repeating with this person. Or you're not trying to repeat cycles with this person. You may feel like they're stuck in cycles, so you're running from this connection because of that. You freed yourself from these cycles. I feel like you guys did acknowledge the red flags this person showed you. And you may have been the one to withdraw your energy, some of you without saying very much at all. You may have been the one that ghosted in this situation because you feel like this person was really shady or there was something you felt like, you know, you just could not trust about this person. Others of you, you know, you may feel like you lack information. It may have been the opposite. You may feel like you lack and understanding around why this person may have withdrawn their energy, why they may have ghosted you. So this person could have moved in silence. Some of you, I feel like this person may have done something in the past to you that they are avoiding taking accountability for. Based on these cards and the current energy, it does feel like this person has not moved on is not over this group because like i said they are haunted by the past that you share whether it be because of their own actions that lacked integrity or i am seeing this person may have allowed their past to negatively affect their judgment when it came to you in this relationship you know whether or not you did do something that was triggering to this person or they just had some unhealed wounds from their past this person may have ran from this connection because they may feel like you were sneaky or you lied about something or you aren't being forthcoming about something they don't trust your energy so if none of this resonates so far this is probably not your reading I want to take a look now at what is currently going on in their life and then we'll take a look at their current feelings towards you and next actions so for this group around what's going on with them i pulled inside scoop looking you up so these people a lot of them are watching you from afar they are researching you studying you trying to get information on you some of these people are trying to dig up dirt on you and i feel like this aligns with that energy of this person feeling like you could have been dishonest about something you're lying about something i also pulled carless so some of these people recently got their car um, repossessed or they're having car trouble i also pulled fishing for comets so this card is pretty much about someone seeking external validation. Some of these people, depending on how things went down between the two of you, some of these people may have been left in this energy of feeling very insecure. So now they may be searching for external validation through others. They may be dating multiple people as a way to validate themselves. Um, to give themselves more confidence. Some of these people may be trying to dig up dirt, dig up dirt on you because they may have felt like you cheated or you are involved with someone else. I feel like they are looking for evidence of this or they're looking for more evidence around some form of action they felt you took that betrayed them. Yeah, this person feels like they're kind of feeling around in the dark, like they don't have any facts. Or I am hearing that people around this person, whether or not they are romantic interests or just platonic connections, they are viewing this person as a liar. They may be calling them out online. You know, if you guys were dealing with someone who you felt like was dishonest or lacked integrity, I feel like they, they found themselves in another scenario or situation where someone else is kind of calling them out on the same things. I also pulled Shine. 
and this card says your light irritates their demons i do feel like there are a significant amount of you here if you are doing well if you are shining if you are moving on if you have moved on if you are doing things that help you elevate and heal this is upsetting this person i also pulled hustling so some of these people are focused right now on their money that is where they are mainly pouring their energy I also pulled girl fight. So I am hearing that, you know, a lot of these people are going through situations where they're experiencing a lot of conflict with those around them. I picked up on that earlier with someone calling this person a liar or calling them out or, the, or calling them out on their dishonesty. If you guys were involved in a situation where there was like a love triangle, they could be fighting with that other person right now. And the last thing I pulled was ego. And this card says hurt ego, ego getting in the way of relationship, etc. So this person is definitely leaning into their ego right now. I feel like a lot of these people, like if you pulled away from them, part of the reasons why the past where this happened, why it still has a hold on them is because you really hurt their ego. I'm also seeing scenarios here where this person is having a hard time having clarity around this connection because they are leaning into their ego or they're doing things right now to soothe their hurt ego okay how are these people feeling towards you guys right now so some of these people are in this energy of trying to release this connection they may feel like this is all that they can do in this situation these people are trying to accept things for how they are right now between the two of you. I feel like a lot of these people may look at you as um, really having your boundaries up right now and really being firm with your boundaries. Because of that, this may be fueling some obsessive energy that these people have towards you. And some of these people are feeling obsessive towards you because you know they feel rejected by you. Again, that ego is hurt. I also pulled mask. So this card is not showing true feelings. Hide personality, pretend to lewd gaslight. These people may be feeling like you're not being honest about something. The sword and the rose. This is clarity, truth, revelations, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So yes, this person, some of these people may feel like they need to protect themselves from you or you're protecting yourself from them. There is a desire here for truth and clarity when it comes to your connection palm tree. So these people, I had pulled hustling earlier. Their focus right now is on their stability for sure. Some of these people may have pulled away from you because of financial reasons that they were not comfortable sharing with you. There is some regret around their behavior or regret around how they may have shown up in this relationship because they did have feelings for you. I like you, but it feels like issues with either them feeling restricted or they're still currently restricted in some way let's take a look now at what their next actions are going to be if you would like a time frame around when they are going to reach out you can check out the video i posted before this that will give you some more details around when you can expect to hear from these people so what are their next actions in this connection Four of Swords reversed, Four of Cups reversed, the Star, Ten of Cups reversed, and Knight of Swords reversed. So I do feel like a lot of these people are going to remain in no contact. They're going to remain being avoidant. I feel like whatever issues they have with you or this connection is going to stay in their mental. Um, it's going to be contributing to a lot of uh, anxiety and mental instability though in their life because they haven't and they don't address this. I do feel like though eventually down the line but this is going to be very far in the future. Like the star is like a distant future. This person will come out of this energy and they may extend an olive branch is what I'm hearing and that's going to look different for all of you. Um, but I don't see that happening for a really long time. Let me see what else. Seven of Wands reversed. Temperance reversed. Yes, there's still that separation. There is this lack of fighting for this connection or putting energy or effort towards this at this moment. 
Um, yeah, this person's just going to continue being in, in avoidant energy, but I do feel like a lot of you already knew this. You are not surprised at all. That is all I am seeing for you guys. I do hope that this reading was helpful and it resonates with you. If it did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.